Hi, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today's topic of discussion is symptoms of EMF exposure. So if you've ever wondered if your symptoms that you may have or a disease process that you've gone through or that you're trying to prevent is at all related to EMFs or electromagnetic fields or electromagnetic radiation, EMR, then this video is for you. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you always get my newest and latest uploads. We're always uploading new content, certainly in the natural health field, but also like this video and share it with your friends. If there's something that you learned here today, the best gift that you can do is to pass it along to someone else in need of this important information. So one of the most common symptoms of EMF exposure is headaches. And this is something that, you know, with the new 5G towers that have gone up, that is commonly reported in areas where there are the 5G panels, as well as nosebleeds. So for some Someone who has not really suffered nosebleeds in the past, just be aware that your exposure to EMFs can increase your risk for nosebleeds. Another symptom is sleep disturbances and insomnia. And this is common in adults, but we have to think of children as well that are exposed to EMFs unknowingly in their bedrooms, as well as baby monitors even. So for the, the young, young babies, unfortunately, you know, if they have a wireless baby monitor close to where they're sleeping, this can really affect their sleep. And that's something that you definitely want to minimize that exposure. Low energy as well. So because of the physiology, which I'll talk about in another video about the VGCC, the voltage gated calcium channels, this can really affect our mitochondria's ability to actually produce energy or ATP because too much calcium is flooding into our cells. And that can really cause fatigue and low energy as well as dizziness and so problems with balance and and just sort of feeling um, you know a little bit lightheaded can be related to EMF exposure as well. Now some people have reported that they get something like a skin rash so specifically on the side of their body if they hold and please don't do this holding up your cell phone to take calls or, or make calls to talk to anybody on a cell phone it should Number one, you probably shouldn't be using a cell phone, but more importantly, it should not be close to your body when you're using it. And you know, it's one thing that, that people have reported is that an itchiness and even a burning on the skin, this can happen too if you have a smartwatch. So even my own children experienced this, that they had a rash from that EMF exposure specifically right on their skin from the from the smartwatch. So Whenever you can put these things on airplane mode, that would be definitely to your benefit. As well as ringing in the ears, another sign of the EMF exposure and that radiation affecting the brain and the inner ear, but also in terms of mental emotional status. So there have been links that have been now actually scientifically proven to depression and brain fog. So again, foggy thinking as well as anxiety as related to the EMF exposure. So in the Netherlands, it's really interesting that when they were testing and rolling out the 5G, it was found in one small town of, and in, this was back in 2017, the population was only 45 people. Yet they had a number of dairy farmers in the area and when they put in the 5G towers, what happened was all of a sudden the cows went crazy and they were suffering anxiety and they were just not behaving in a normal fashion and they attributed that to the 5G uh, radiation from the 5G towers. And also cardiac symptoms. Again, the calcium, too much of that calcium flooding into the cells is can be related to cardiac problems and with heart palpitations that would be another common symptom of that EMF exposure. So certainly what researchers have found is that when they gave calcium channel blockers that those symptoms and the negative symptoms of the EMF exposure were completely mitigated. So that's a, a great correlation between again those VGCCs, that calcium flooding into the cells, and that EMF radiation. So I'll talk more in detail about the VGCCs in a different video. If you want the full length video, the one hour show on EMFs, please check that out. The description is in 
in and the link is in the description below and thanks for joining me so remember to share this video give me a big thumbs up and make sure that you turn on your notifications so you get all of our future videos live when we upload them thanks for joining me today